Class 4A, Section 07. Between 12 and 9, Lafayette Jeff, and 14 and 6. In the state of Indiana, and we're underway. It's controlled by the Logan Sport Berries. Wildermuth with it. And he'll bring it into the front court. They move left to right for Logan Sport. The Broncos in a man-to-man -man defense. Down low it goes inside to Rombles. Passes cross court to Zach Dietrich. And he lays it into the Berries lead 2 to nothing. Broncos back up the floor with it. Koger with it. Far sideline down on the baseline to Primo. The Berries are also man-to-man -man right now. Primo in trouble. Sends it deep corner to Gamble. He drives the baseline. His pass tip. Retrieved by Primo in the lane. He pulls it out. In trouble over on the far sideline. And he gets it to Koger out at the half-court line. Playing with the basketball. Driving down the lane. A shot up. No. Rebound pulled down by Ron Bull to the Berries. And here comes Logan Sport into the front court. Trivet with it to Wildermuth. Top of the key guarded by Richardson. Right wing now to Trivet. He drives the right baseline. Cross court pass. Here's a three ball. Wildermuth left wing. No good. Rebound tipped out. Grabbed by Primo of the Broncos. They trailed a two to nothing here. Just underway. 6.55 to go first quarter. Richardson with it. Front court for Jeff. Comes down the left side of the lane. Dishes near corner to Gamble. He pulls up for an 18 footer. Got it. Gamble has the Broncos on the board. And we're tied at two. It was a great shot by, uh, by Gamble. He just, he just did a quick turnaround, shook off his man, and just made that shot. Barry's with it on the other end. It's Wildermuth in trouble. Finds Trivet out at the half-court line. Now to Rombo, right wing. Top of the key, it goes to Victor. He comes down the lane. He's fouled on a drive. He'll shoot two free throws, and I believe picking up the foul will be Joe Gamble. That'll be his first and team foul number one against the Broncos. 6.25 to go opening quarter. Tied at two between Jeff and Logan Sport. KC Victor to the line for the Berries. He averages 14.1 points a game. Victor's first shot good. Berries lead three to two. And if you're just joining us, Logan Sport won the regular season matchup between these two ball clubs, 71-67. Victor's second free throw is also made. Berries four, Jeff two. Here come the Broncos. The Berries will sag back defensively on defense. Richardson with it between the circle, top of the key. Off to Munoz now. Now far sideline to Coker. He pulls it out, dribbles to his left. To Gamble on the left wing. Joe on the dribble. And needs help. Gives to Munoz. Munoz drives the lane. His layup, good! Good play by Caesar. He tests that sore ankle. He scores his first two. We're tied at four. Very basketball. Wildermuth with it in the front court. Guarded by Koger. To Victor, top of the key. And now left wing to Trivet. Down inside on the baseline to Rombo. Turns on Primo. His shot is up. No good. Battle for the rebound. We've got a held ball on the rebound. Possession arrow favors the Broncos. It was a great job by uh, Munoz there. He just stuck his, he just stuck him and his whole ankle right in there and uh, was able to get that jump ball. Well, Jeff will try to take the lead on this trip down the floor. Richardson with the ball, crosses half court. The Berries may be in his own defense now this time down. Primo with it, far corner. To Koger, top of the key to Richardson, left wing now to Munoz. The junior on the dribble. Nearly carried the ball, but no call. Gets it to Gamble, left corner. Gamble on the dribble now. Top of the key to Munoz. Far sideline to Richardson. He drives the baseline. A tough shot. Good. Dallas with his first two. Jeff Lee six to four. Right now our guards are playing really well and shooting exactly the blocking foul on the uh, on the Broncos. Now Rogan Sport tried to push the tempo there. Jeff picks up a blocking foul. And it's going to go against Dallas Richardson, his first team foul number two. Berries will take it out of bounds. Inbound baseline left with Corey Rombold. 6-4, Jeff. 5-12 to go first quarter. It comes in to Trivet. Down to Ron Bolt on the baseline. Cross-court pass to Dietrich. Taken away by Munoz on the steal. Here come the Broncos. Richardson with it. Front court. He pulls up for an 18-footer. Yes! Dallas has hit two consecutive shots, and Jeff leads 8-4. Broncos just coming out shooting the ball very well. 4-5 yep. for five right now here in the first couple of minutes. Good start, which was what we... Thought the Broncos needed. Barry basketball in the front court. We've got a double team by the Broncos. And the Barrys get out of it. Trivet with it. Cross court pass on the baseline to Ron Bold. He runs into Primo. And we're going to get a foul here on Tom Primo. Much to the dismay of head coach Scott Brunel, the Broncos. 
From, from here, it looked like uh, Primo just got position, stuck his hand straight up and didn't even move an inch. And so now they call the foul on that too. The ref is on the other side of the, of the play, so maybe he found something we didn't. Primo's first foul, team foul number three, and they're going to say it's foul in the act of the shooting as well. No, now they're going to change it. The Berries will take it out of bounds. So the Broncos catch the break. No, I'm not foul in the act of shooting. Into Rombo. Here's a steal by Coger over at the head pass, though, and then he throws it out of bounds. Back to the Berries. There's a situation, guys, where he maybe could have called a timeout there. I just look like he tried to do a little bit too much there. Berries get it back, front court, baseline right. Wildermuth will inbound. He gets it into Trivet, 15-footer in the corner, no good. Rebound to Richardson. Here come the Broncos. They lead 8-4. to four. Dallas with the ball stolen away, though, beautifully by Eric Wildermuth. He just picked his pocket from behind. Okay, Dallas definitely didn't see that one coming. And with the ball, front court, David Trivet for the Berries. They're down by four. He drives to the bucket, gets it to Ron Bolt at the foul line for a jumper, no good. Rebound tipped around out of bounds to the Broncos. Tipped out of bounds by the Logan Sport Berries. Game getting pretty physical here early. Yep. We'll see if it does turn into a physical game, who that favors. The Broncos, of course, a shorter bench tonight with some suspension. And, of course, also a height disadvantage as well. Koga with it, pulls up on the right wing on the other end, an air ball, rebound to the Berry. Victor on the run into the front court for Logan Sport. Now he dribbles to his left, comes down the lane, a tough shot. No, we've got a foul on the drive by Victor. He'll shoot two free throws. And if that's Primo, guys, he's just picked up his second foul here in the first quarter. Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, Shane White, the freshman, uh, the freshman from Jeff is checking in. I'm guessing he's coming in for Primo there. Well, that's one thing you can't do when you've got a short bench. you guys got you got to play smart when you got a short bench out there. Well, Shane Ryan, a freshman, has not played a whole lot of varsity action this year. Didn't, did play a lot of JV action, and he's going to check in here. Free throw by Casey Victor is good. He's got three points on three free throws. So Wyant does check in for Primo. Wyant, as we said, a freshman, 6'3 freshman, younger brother of uh, Shana Wyant, senior member of the Bronco girls basketball team this year. Here's the second free throw, good by Victor. And actually, I was just looking at our, uh, at our uh, box score, and he's, uh, he's only played about three seconds of uh, varsity action. So he's very green, he's raw on varsity action. Here's the jumper, missed by Richardson. Rebound to Logan Sport. They're back up the floor with Victor. He drives on the baseline, and he takes the jumper anyway and scores. Victor now with six first quarter points for the Berries, and they tie the score at eight. Richardson on the other end. This is far corner to Koger for a three try. No. Rebound tipped around. Grabbed by Dietrich of the Berry. To Trivet. He's over on the left wing, dr driving against Richardson on the baseline. Double team down there. They lost the ball. Picked up by Victor in the far corner. He's double teamed, and the Berries throw it away. And they pick up a foul. Broncos get a steal, and then a Berry foul to boot here. I think it's going to give Zach Dietrich his first team foul number one for Logan Sport. It's, even though it's only the first team foul for Logan Sport, that's really not the that's not the way you want to pick up those fouls. You, you prefer to get something in the in the low post if you get any fouls at all, but uh, just something while well after a steal. It's just a silly foul. Straight up, three minutes to go, first quarter. We're tied at eight. Logan Sport in his own defense now on this trip. Richardson drives, and here's a foul from behind against the Barry defender. We'll see who picked it up. Go against Eric Wildermuth, his first team foul number two. Broncos will inbound baseline right with the senior Dallas Richardson. Dallas inbounds to Wyant. He hands off to Richardson. He pulls up 18-footer left wing. Good. So Dallas has his shot working early, which is a good sign. He's got 6, 10 to 8, Jeff. Here comes. Um, that was a good shot. It looked like he just got enough time to, to get his shot off, got, got the space, and just pulled up and hit it. Front court with it is Wildermuth, and he stepped on the sideline. Turnover for the Berries. They've turned it over four times already here in the first quarter. The Broncos doing a good job of trapping the ball, uh, ball handler against the Berries here in the first quarter, and it's, it's caused some turnovers. Yeah, that's the one thing we can do with a, with a size disadvantage like that we have is that we can, if we can trap the ball handler and, and really confuse them, that, that's one thing that works to our advantage. The only problem is if they learn how to, uh, how to pass out of it. That could be a problem later. Dallas penetrates on the other end. His patented floater. Good and a foul. 
a teardrop by Dallas in the lane. He'll get a bonus free throw here. And Jeff leads 12 to 8. Zach Dietrich, the big man for the Bears, has just picked up his second foul, and he'll check out. 6'4", junior will, actually 6'4", senior will head to the bench, replaced by number 43, Kevin Smith. we have got a timeout on the floor called by head coach Al Rose of the Bears, but his club trailing 12-8, 228 to go in the first Kokomo. Broncos win, they'll play at 6 o'clock on Friday against the winner of that one. So Dallas with a chance at a three-point play for the Broncos. His free throw is in the air, and it's good. He's got nine first-quarter points, and he hung 31 on the Bears the first time these two clubs played in December, and he's well on his way again here tonight. Five-point lead for Jeff. Barry basketball, front court with it, Victor, right wing. Top of the key it goes, and a loose ball, and got a foul. And this is going to go against the, the Logan Sport Barry. I think uh, we'll see who picked it up. Jacob Petey, who just checked in for the Bears, picked up that foul. There was a loose ball there, Dan, and there was a big scramble for it, and Petey picked up a foul. Yeah, initially it looked like Kilgore was pointing to himself to see if he, uh, if he had uh, committed that foul, but and I think he was kind of surprised himself when he wasn't called for it. Broncos definitely might have caught a break right there. Richardson was at front court for the Broncos. Five-point lead. He wants to penetrate. This is a gamble. Left corner, three ball. Good. Joe Gamble with five first-quarter points, and Jeff builds an eight-point lead, 16 to eight. So Joe has responded nicely in the start here tonight. With the ball front court for the Berries. Victor top of the key, guarded by Munoz. He dishes over on the far sideline to Kevin Smith. Back to Victor top of the key. Victor on the dribble, wants to drive, pulls up in the lane, good, got the roll, nice shot. And he's got seven first quarter points, 16-10 Jeff. Richardson back up the floor, top of the key, backs it out between the circles, now pulls up for a deep three, no. Rebound, tipped out of bounds, last touch by Logan Sports, rumbled. Broncos will keep it here with a six-point lead. Another Logan Sports substitution, David Trivett will check back in, replacing Jacob Petey. And we've got, Co got Coach Al Rose in the conversation here for Logan Sport with the official. That breaks up. Now the Broncos will inbound with Joe Gamble. Gamble into Richardson, left wing, shoots another three. This one way off the mark. Rebound to Victor for the Berry. To Wildermuth, long pass in the front court to Trivet. Left baseline, fires a 15-footer, good. His first two, and now it's a four-point lead, 16-12. Here come the Broncos. Munoz from the other end, three ball. No. Rebound, tipped around. We've got a foul. Who will go? It's going to go against uh, the Jeff Broncos, I believe. I think Blaine Koger picked up a rebounding foul there. That'll be his first. Team fifth. With 1-11 to go first quarter, Jeff leads 16-12. So the Broncos getting into some foul trouble here in the first quarter. That was one thing that hurt them in their first go around with the Berries this year was foul trouble. It's a big key to this game because they'd have, have a short bench. If somebody's going to get into foul trouble, there's not too many guys that uh, Coach Bunnell has as o an option to replace him. Rotor move, front court for the Berries. Down on the baseline to Rombo. Cross court pass to Tribbett. Top of the key, Victor for a three try. No. Rebound, tips around, and Shane Wyatt, nice rebound in traffic for the freshman. Here come the Broncos. Richardson with it. Tough shot on the other end, and we've got a foul on the Barry. Very tough shot by Dallas, but he was bailed out by a, a Barry foul. You know, probably wasn't the best shot he could have taken there, but it, like you said, he was bailed out by that foul, and uh, that's one thing Dallas will do is he'll uh, drop fouls almost every time he drives. Well, he had a guy wide open out there on the wing, but that, that's one thing that Dallas Richardson does. He, he, he can score points, but a lot of times he, he needs to make better decisions. David Trivet with a foul, his first. Here's the free throw by Dallas. It's good. He's got 10 points in the first quarter. He's 2 of 2 from the charity stripe as well. We're under a minute to go. 45.3 first quarter. Jeff 17, Logan Sport 12 here in the sectional opener. Second free throw also made by Richardson. Barry's down by six out of the basketball. 40 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Wildermuth with it, front court for Logan Sport. Bounces off the trivet, high left wing, guarded closely by Koger. Now to Victor, top of the key. Munoz for defensive assignment. 28 seconds to go in the quarter. Victor on the dribble, cross court pass to Rombold, far sideline. 
Rombold calls the play, bounces to Wildermuth at the half-court line. 19 seconds to go. Wildermuth way out at the half-court line. Right wing now to Rombold. Rombold, top of the key to Victor. 10 seconds to go. Now, Trivet with it, top of the key. He drives to the right baseline. Inside pass to Rombold, and he scores. Rombold's first two, one second to go. The Broncos will not get a shot off as the first quarter ends. And the score favors the host Broncos here tonight. The sectional opener, 18 to foot quarter play. And I'm Eric Eaton along with Nick Ehrman and Dan Huth. And Dan, a pretty good first quarter of play for the Broncos as they lead 18 to 14. And they only turned the ball over two times unofficially in that first quarter. Yeah, the Broncos did a very good job of uh, uh, right, what they're doing right now, which is trapping the ball, the ball handler. And well, they forced the five seconds on a nice double team here as the Barry started the quarter with the basketball and uh, Wildermuth turned it over. Barry's now turned it over six times and the Broncos now have a chance to build a six-point lead. And actually what the Broncos, the only thing the Broncos have to worry about is a fouls and they have five fouls in the first uh, quarter as do the Barry's, but we can't afford to get our big men in foul trouble. Gamble on the other end, pulls up for a corner jumper, no. Loose ball though, retrieved by Koger, right wing to Primo. Now to Richardson, top the key, shoots a three, blocked by Casey Victor, and Victor grabbed the rebound. Victor hands off to Wildermuth. Barry's down by four, 7.20 to go first quarter. Pivot with it, far sideline. To Rombold, baseline left, he's double teamed. Wildermuth hands off to uh, a shot there by Kevin Smith. It's missed, the ball is retrieved by Coburn in the far corner, but he can't save it in time. The Berries will keep it 18 to 14. Is their deficit with 7.07 to go? Nick Ehrman, your thoughts here after the first quarter. Well, the Broncos came out shooting the ball very well, but down the stretch, it kind of seemed like they cooled off a little bit. Uh, I think they just need to do, do a better job of decision-making, hitting open teammates instead of just uh, jacking up shots. Very basketball. Rombo with us the foul line. He hands off to Wildermuth. Behind the back dribble, he'll back it out. Richardson, Primo, Coger, Munoz, and Gamble on the floor. Here's a nice pass down the baseline. Missed by Victor, but a rebound put back by Kevin Smith for the Bay. His first two, two-point lead on the other end. The Broncos go all the way. Coger drives to the other end on the baseline. He's fouled on the way to the bucket, and he'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, and that last uh, defensive possession for the Broncos, uh, Primo was pretty lucky that he didn't get, pick up that third foul as he was, uh, he was guarding the guards on the, on the, on the well, actually outside the three-point line, which is some, somewhere you really don't want him on defense. David Trivet picked up his second foul against Logan Sport. Lane Koger to the foul line for the Jeff Broncos, shooting two free throws. His club up by two. His first free throw is good, and that'll be Lane's first point of the ball game. Sophomore will get a second substitution for Logan for Jacob Petey back into the ball game, replacing David Trivett. 19 to 16 Lafayette Jeff, 6.44 to go before halftime. Koger second free throw in the air, got them both. 20 to 16 Jeff. Barry's with the basketball. Wildermuth brings it across the half-court line, guarded by Richardson, man-to-man -man pressure by the Broncos. Rombo with the top of the key. He drives on Primo, and Primo picked up his third foul on the drive. Yeah, and that's Primo. a situation where Primo's got to back away, and he needs somebody else to come provide help. Yeah, Primo was just a step behind that whole, that whole time, as uh, he really never had a... It was, it was a pretty obvious... It was a pretty easy foul to call, as, as he just never was really keeping with his man. And he's going to be replaced here by Shane Wyant. He just got back up off the bench. So Corey Rombold, free throw. Corey Rombold, he's got two points in the ball game. Jeff leads 20 to 16. Rombold's second free throw in the air, got it. 20 to 17, Broncos with the ball. 6.30 to go, second quarter. Richardson with it, front court, top of the key. Wants to drive in the lane. His shot in the lane, good. Dallas with 13, 22-17, Jeff. He broke his man down there. Well, that's the time that uh, a decision like driving the lane, that's a good idea when he's open. Wildermuth on the other end, dishes down low to an open man down there. That was Smith. He had the shot blocked by Wyatt. Here come the Broncos. Richardson dishes near corner to Coger. He shoots a three. He's fouled. 
foul on that shot. So Blaine's going to shoot three free throws here. He's already two of two from the charity strike. Broncos with a five-point lead. If Blaine makes all three, they'll lead by eight. Not a very smart decision by Logan Sport. If, it, if you send Blaine Coger to the line, chances are he's going to make them. Eric Wilder, who's picked up the foul, his second for Logan Sport. Blaine Kogel on the season coming into this game, shooting free throws at a 72% clip. Pretty good. Here's the free throw by Blaine, and we jinxed him. He missed the first. He'll get two more tries. 22 to 17, Jeff. His second one in the air, good. Substitution for Logan Sport. David Trivet checks back in, replacing Jacob Petey. Broncos have led by, I believe, as many as eight so far in this game. They lead by six right now, 23 to 17. Second free throw, good by, actually third free throw by Coger Good. He made two out of three. 24 to 17, Jeff. Here come the Berries into the front court. Trivet with the ball front court. This is right wing to Kevin Smith. And his pass kicked out of bounds by Joe Gamble. The Berries will inbound here down by seven. They'll do so in front of the Bronco bench with Kevin Smith. Smith inbounding. Gets it into Rombold who pulls it out to the right wing. Picked up his dribble. Now hands off to Trivet. He dribbles to his left, top of the key. Off to Wildermuth. He's going to shoot a three. No. Back iron. Rebound to bounce out. He'll get his own rebound. Wildermuth drives to left baseline. Scores on the drive. Eric Wildermuth with his first two, 24-19. Jeff is a score. Yeah, one thing about the, about that possession was that Shane Wine after trying to defend that three-point shot, he uh, actually he actually went, went by for a fast break type attempt, and he actually uh, put himself out of position for that rebound. Now Dallas Richardson had a shot roll off the front of the rim on the other end, rebounded by the Berries. They're in the front court with the ball, near quarter, Trivet on the baseline. He'll pull it out to Wildermuth, top of the key, guarded by Richardson. Wildermuth backs it out to the half-court line, turns and gets the call from the bench, near corner to Victor. Victor on the dribble. Thought about shooting. Now sends it top of the key to Trivet. He will shoot a three. Good. David Trivet with his first three-pointer. He's got five. It's a two-point lead now for the Broncos. 24-22. On the other end, Dallas drives the lane. And, well, we got a, got a contact here. It's going to go against the Barry. The bang-bang call. The Barry coaching staff wanted a charge. It'll be a block call. Then Dallas earns two free throws. Yeah, two very defenders actually uh, converged on Dallas on that one. I couldn't see how they couldn't call a uh, defensive foul on that one just because the fact that the two players were there, one of them probably put their hand somewhere where it wasn't supposed to be. KC Victor with the foul, his first. Dallas Richardson to the foul line, two free throws. His first free throw is good. He's a perfect 4-4 from the charity stripe, has 14 points. 4.49 to go, first half, 25-22, Jeff. It's been a good one so far here between what I think two very evenly matched clubs. Second free throw by Dallas, got the roll. The Broncos' performance here tonight definitely reflects their uh, their tough season schedule. They played uh, number two Anderson and brought them right down to the wire, so we, we know this team is very capable yep. of pulling out a win. Barry's with it, front court, Wildermuth. So Victor, top of the key, long three ball, good. KC Victor with 11 points to lead the Berries and scoring pulls into within one, 26-25. On the other end, Dallas tries to answer, misses the three. Rebound to the Berries. Here they come in the front court. Trivet in the lane. Left wing, Wildermuth drives on the baseline. Now to Trivet. To Victor, top of the key. He drives, pulls up just outside the foul line, hits the gear. Victor's hit back-to-back -back buckets in the Berries lead, 27-26. You tell us, Steve, I've quite a bit of height on that last shot, Ben. Munoz with a front court for Jeff. He pulls up top with the key, way off the mark. Rebound to Victor for Logan Sport. They'll try to build on a one-point lead now. Victor's come alive for him the last two times. He's scored five straight points for the Berries. He's got the ball front court, guarded by Kogan. He gives off to Rombold, top of the key. Now to Smith. Smith in the lane to Victor, fires from the foul line, and he missed it badly. Goes out of bounds. Back to the Jeff Broncos. They trail 27-26, 3.39 to go, second quarter. 
Yeah, it's, it's a bad thing when Logan Sports started shooting well. They actually led the NCC in uh, scoring, and that's a, that's a conference with Marion, Anderson, Muncie Central, all good teams. They, uh, they actually led it with 48.1% uh, field goal percentage on the season, which is excellent. Front court. Stoger with it, top of the key to Gamble. Inside down low to Wyatt, who checks back in, and he scores! Shane Wyatt with his first varsity bucket, I believe, 28-27 Jeff. That's one thing that Jeff needs to do more of. you got to hit open teammates down the lane. Front court, Rombold for the Berries on the baseline, takes the jumper off the glass, good. Rombold with five, 29-28 Berries. We see all back and forth now as we approach halftime. Richardson with it. Far sideline for Jeff. Drives the baseline. The reverse layup wouldn't fall. Rebound to Rombo for Logan Schwartz. Here come the Berries. Pivot with it. Right wing in the front court. To Rombo top of the key. He thought about the shot, but passes to Wildermuth. He'll shoot a three. No. Rebound to Wyant. Wyant playing some solid basketball inside now for the Broncos, the freshman. Front court. Three ball. Way off the mark. Shane Wyant, a rebound. Put back. He scored four in the quarter. Jeff leads 30 to 29. Wyatt has definitely rised to the occasion here. His, uh, his teammates definitely need him here tonight to step up. He hadn't even, what, played a minute of varsity action coming into this game tonight. And here come the uh, Berries. Victor with it. Baseline right. And here's a steal by Richardson. Dallas driving. Cross court pass to Munoz. And score! These are Munoz with four points off the assist from Richardson. 32-29 Jeff. So the Berries had a brief, couple brief one-point leads. Now they've fallen behind by three, and they've got the basketball. Victor with it, right wing in the front court. Top of the key to Wildermuth, and Smith now on the left wing. Smith down low to Wombold. He's double teamed. He drives anyway. His shot no good. Rebound tipped out, grabbed by Munoz. Caesar brings it into the front court. Top of the key, Joe Gamble now, right wing. Down low to Wyatt. Wouldn't fall off the glass. Rebound to Logan Sport. Good effort, just wouldn't fall. Well, I've been very impressed with Joe Gamble. He's been finding open teammates down low. I mean, they may not have been making the shots every time, but he's definitely looking for his guys. Tough shot missed by the Berries on the other end. Rebounded out by the Berries. With it is uh, Trivet. He dribbles to the right baseline. Guarded closely by Munoz. Now top of the key to Rombo. 32-29 Jeff in this one with 107 to go. First half. Wildermuth with it. Top of the key. On the dribble. Guarded by Richardson. He picks up his dribble. To Rombold in the lane. He puts his head down. Up off the glass and scores. Corey Rombold now with seven in the ball game. 32-31 Jeff. 49 seconds to go in the half. Richardson with it. On the other end. Driving right side of the lane. He took step. Turnover against Dallas. And that's Jeff. Just their third turnover. But they give it back now to the Berries with a chance to take a halftime lead. Darren Hinkle checks in for Cesar Munoz to the Broncos. Well, look like that last play. Dallas, at first he wanted to drive the lane, but then he saw he had the open shot, so he decided to take that. A little indecision, perhaps, to commit the turnover. So 32-31, and the crowd has really been into this ball game here in the first half. It's been an entertaining game. Logan Sport with the basketball. Roto moves with it. And let's see, he gives off, I believe it's to uh, Smith with the basketball. Actually, it's Petey who checks back in, Jacob Petey. Now Tibbet with the top, he got it very closely by Cover. Now far sideline to Rombo, 22 seconds to go in the half. Barriers with the ball, down by a point. Rombo with the ball, picks up the dribble. Gets it to Wildermuth, between the circle, top of the key, 14 seconds to go. Right wing to Rombo. Rombo, top of the key to Petey. Left wing to Wildermuth in the lane to Rombold. He turns to his right, top of the key. Three ball by Trivet. Got it. With two seconds to go, a three-pointer. Richardson launches from three-quarter court, hits the glass. Won't uh, fall, though. 34-32. The Berries are going to take a two-point halftime lead to the locker room on the strength of... They'll wrap that up this coming Monday night. Bronco with Tom Primo and Cesar Munoz on the floor for the Jeff Broncos. And Richardson with the ball, and he brings it into the front court. Picked up by KC Victor. Richardson with the top of the key. This is far corner. Munoz, who launches a three off the mark. Rebound to Rombold for the Berries. Here come the Berries. Trivet with it. Baseline right front court. Cut off by Munoz nicely in trouble. Pass tipped out to Rombold. Now top of the key to Victor. They work it right wing to Trivet. Guarded very closely by Munoz. Down low on the block to Rombold. 
He dribbles it out. Now top of the key to Wildermuth. Wildermuth on the dribble left wing. Gets it in the lane to Dietrich. Dietrich now top of the key to Trivet. Far corner to Victor. Victor on the dribble. He spins. Fires a shot off the glass. No. Rebound grabbed by Koger. Here come the Broncos. Koger on the drive to the other end. Had the ball knocked away from him. Out of bounds. Still belongs to Jeff. 7-10 to go here. Third quarter. Jeff trails 34-32. Yeah, Cougar was kind of fortunate that nothing, uh, nothing resulted from that. As it looked, I'm not sure if it actually went off Logan's court, but it also could have been a, a block or a charge on that play as well. Inbound pass comes into Primo, and he's fouled by the Berries. First foul against Logan's court here in the third quarter. And it's going to go against number 15, Eric Wildermuth, his third foul. Original starters on the floor for the Berries, David Civit, Eric Wildermuth, Casey Victor, Corey Rombold, and Zach Dietrich. Gamble inbounds to Primo. Top of the key to Richardson. Dallas pulls up for three on the right wing. No, he back ironed it. Steve Primo with a rebound and a putback. Tom Primo with his first points of the game, and it ties the score at 34. Front court, Trivet with it for the Berries. Left wing to Rumble. Thought about the three, but doesn't shoot. Now it goes right wing to Trivet. He will shoot a three, and he missed it. Rebound to Joe Gamble. Gamble races into the front court for the Broncos. Bounces inside to Primo. Shot blocked from behind by Dietrich out of bounds. Broncos will keep control of the ball, and Primo had no idea the defender was behind him. You know, a guy we haven't seen here yet, uh, we talked about him a little bit earlier, is uh, Jay Hodges. I'm surprised he hasn't come in to uh, pick up some of the slack for uh, Tom Primo playing the three fouls. Three-pointer missed by Richardson off the inbound pass. Rebound to the Berries. We're tied at 34. Logan Sports tribute in the front court to Rombold. Baseline right. He turns on Primo, and Primo picked up his fourth foul. And it looked like a design play there, guys. Try and take it at Primo to pick up that fourth foul, and it worked perfection. The Berries will get two free throws to boot. The yeah, one thing Primo's just got to win. They, they, they did give it to Primo there, apparently. They gave it to oh. Joe Gamble. Big break for the Broncos. Joe's second. I'm not even... I'm not even sure Joe is, is Joe even in on that play. I'm not, I, I didn't, I didn't see, see him around the play, but he picked it up. Definitely a break for the Broncos. Free throw made by Rombold. He's got eight points. Barry's lead by one, 35-34. Well, nonetheless, Primo, what Primo needs to do is he needs to stick his hand straight up in the air when, in a situation like that because that's, that's just too risky of a, of a defensive stance to take against when he has three fouls. 36-34, Barry's. Richardson with the ball, front court for Jeff, between the circles, top of the key, guarded by Victor, he gets the screen, shoots the three, no, short, rebound, leaping rebound, grabbed by CD of the Berry. Front court with it, Trivet, inside to Rombold, and he drives, nice, pass across the court to Dietrich, and he scores. Dietrich with four, 38-34, Berry. Richardson on the other end, pulls up for another tough three, and he hits this one. He's got 18, boy, that was a tough one, 38-37, Berry. On the other end, Barry's come right back down the floor. Petey with it. Baseline right now to Dietrich. He drives the baseline, and let's see what the call is on the baseline. It looks like a Bronco foul there. It appears to be on Joe Gamble. That would be his third. So Coach Funnel's got two players in the floor with third, three fouls, Joe Gamble and Tom Primo. And Coach Funnel's going to make a substitution now. Jordan Oakley's going to come into the ball game for Gamble. Oakley has seen... Very spotty varsity play this year, and he'll come in now in this second half. Oakley has just played over about over about 18, 18 minutes this, uh, this season in varsity action. Very basketball, far corner. Trivet with it to Dietrich, top of the key at the foul line. He hands off to Trivet between the circles, guarded by Munoz. Trivet on the dribble, bounces far sideline to Victor. The Berries lead by a point. Now to Rombold, far corner. Top of the key to Trivet. He drives down the lane. Left-handed layup, good. Trivet into double figures with 10, 40 to 37, Logan Sport. Bronco ball, front court. Richardson pulls up for another three. Block from behind. Rebound to the Berries. Dallas has to be careful now that he doesn't start to press in this ball game. And the Berries turn it over and give it back to Jeff. Seven turnovers in the game for Logan Sport. That was a break for Jeff as, uh, as that travel call was made in the corner. It really bailed out Dallas Richardson as he's been taking, except for that one three point shot, which even really wasn't the best shot probably in that situation. He's been taking some bad shots this half. Well, the Berries are going to sag into a zone now. 1-3-1 one, one zone defense. Broncos will have to see how to attack it here. Oakley with it at the half court line. Oakley on the dribble. Tip pass, tipped out of bounds. Broncos will keep it inbound in front of their own bench here. 
Down by three, 40 to 37, 4.58 to go third quarter. See right now on the floor, we only have uh, we have two ball handlers, which is in Coker and Dallas Richardson as Gamble, like we said, has been out with his uh, third foul. Oakleo inbound for the Broncos. Gets it into Primo out at the half court line to Richardson. The very staying to one three one. Dallas directs traffic. Dallas on the dribble, right wing shoots a very long three off the mark. Rebound to the Berries. Rombo grabbed the rebound. Now he's taken that same shot the last four or five times down the floor, and he's only made it once. He, he was uh, 0 for uh, 8, I believe, in the first half from three-point range. He's only made one for the game. He needs to hit his open teammates. Left wing three, rattled out for Trivet. Rebound picked up and grabbed by Primo of the Broncos to Richardson. Dallas into the front court, driving in the lane. His patented floater short. Rebound to the Berries. Dietrich with it. Dallas is starting to force some shots, and especially on those three-point shots. This time it was a drive, but on those three-point shots, the worst thing is that, the, that your, uh, your fellow teammates aren't expecting those shots and, uh, and in turn are not ready for those long rebounds. Barry's with the ball, front court. Rombo with it, top of the key to Trivet. Trivet drives the left side lane, pulls up for a 15-footer short. Rebound to Blaine Koga for the Broncos. He dribbles it into the front court. Jeff down by three. Dallas top of the key. And thought about the three, now drive. Tough shot to Lane, missed again. Rebound, though, taken away by the Bears. It looked like Primo had a shot for the rebound, but then the Bears control the rebound. I think Dallas has to remember the basketball is a team game, and you're not going to win unless you trust your teammates. Well, I think somebody else is going to have to step up for the Broncos if they want to pull this out here tonight, other than Dallas Richardson. The Bears fall down with the ball in the front court and turn it over. Jacob Petey fell down with the ball. Eight Berry turnovers, and right now the Berries have had some opportunities to push this thing up to five or six, but are turning the ball over. Yeah, the uh, the Berry bench thought that was a that was a foul call. Um, that should have been a foul on Dallas, and uh, actually got off ball on that one, and he ended up falling down and traveling, which is a poor break for the Berries. But it's 3:30 to go, third quarter. Richardson with the basketball. He crosses the half court line. Started by Victor the Berries, man-to-man defense now. Munoz with the top of the key. Now far sideline to Oakley. Oakley wants to drive the baseline. He's cut off there by Rombo to Primo. Top of the key to Munoz. Now right wing to Richardson. Dallas on the baseline. Now dribbles to his left. He backs it out top of the key. Now guarding him is Trivet. Dallas pulls up. No tough shot blocked partially by the Berries. The Berries grab the rebound. Again, now the shot Dallas should be taking the... I think Dallas is just trying to take the game over here, and it's not working for the Broncos in the second half. Again, I, we continue to reiterate, the key is going to be somebody else going to need to step up for the Broncos. As Ron Bolt hits a tough turnaround jumper for the Berries. He's got 11, 42-37 Logan Sport, and we've got a foul against the Berries here. Richardson fouled by Casey Victor. That's his second. Team second. And Joe Gamble now going to check back in. And Coach Funnel with a calculated gamble now here. 2.39 to go in the third quarter. He knows he needs somebody else to step up. And he figures down by five. He reinserts Joe Gamble. That's a smart call. If there's one guy that can get these guys to uh, play together as a team, it's Joe Gamble. He made a lot of smart decisions in the first half. Let's see what he does here. Now Richardson tried another three, blocked by the Berries. He got his own rebound. Now he drives in the lane, and he missed the shot. Rebound tipped around, grabbed by the Berries. They'll try to build on a five-point lead. Shane Wyatt is also checked back in for the Jeff Bronco. Wilder moves front court left wing for the Berries on the dribble to Victor. It looks like he traveled with the ball, and he did. Nine Berry turnovers. Jeff gets it back, down 42-37. 2.15 to go third quarter. Dallas going to walk the ball across the half court line and the Berries again going to switch defenses again on Jeff here. 1-3-1 one, one, and I think what they like, what they hope for is a quick three out of that zone. Here's a three by Koger and now he's fouled. He is fouled for the second time in this ball game shooting a three-pointer. So Blaine will step back to the free throw line. He's four or five from the foul line in the ball game. Dietrich picks up his third foul for the Berries. Could be uh, what Jeff needs to maybe spark a run here and get a couple of free throws, easy points from the line. Looks like we're going to get a Logan Sports substitution. Kevin Smith sets the check back in, probably for Zach Dietrich with the three personals. So Blaine Cover to the foul line averages about seven and a half points a ball game. He's got four so far in the contest. He can come close to his average if he makes all three here. He makes the first. 
42-38, Logan Sport. Second free throw in the air, missed by Blaine Coger. Kevin Smith checks in for Dietrich. Blaine Coger will get a third here. The shot you got to make. The easiest way, way to score points is from the free throw line. And he made two out of three the first time he was fouled shooting a three-pointer. And let's see if he can do that again here. Second one, or third one missed. Rebound to the Berries. He made one out of three. Four-point Logan Sport lead. They have the basketball. Wildermuth with it, and he crosses the half-court line. Guarded by Dallas. Wildermuth drives the right side of the lane to the baseline. Cut off there. Rombold at the foul line. Down low on the baseline to Smith. He hands off to Victor. Victor, pull-up jumper on the wing. Got it. Stacy Victor with 15. His first points of the half. 44-38. Barry's their largest lead of the game now. See, the Broncos are slowing it down now. Richardson dishes far corner to Munoz. Top of the key to Gamble. Gamble drives. He pulls up in the lane. Good. Joe Gamble comes back off the bench and scores a quick bucket. He's got 7, 44, 40. Logan Sport pull up, jump on the other end by Victor. No good. Rebound grabbed though by Eric Wildermuth, one of the smallest players on the floor. And he gives it out to Ron Bold and back to Wildermuth for the Berries. Wyatt just couldn't get his hand on that last rebound. He tipped it up and actually made it a little bit too, uh, too high of a reach for Dallas. Victor with it, top of the key, off the trivet on the left wing. We've got a foul away from the, oh, not a foul. Three in the key. Three-second violation against the Berries. Ten Logan Sport turnovers. Give it back to Jeff as Jacob Peedy comes back in for Logan Sport, replacing Eric Wildermuth. We're under a minute to go, third quarter. Logan Sport leads the ball game 44-40. to Richardson brings the ball up the, across the half-court line slowly. Right wing to Coger, shoots the three, no, it's short. Rebound to Logan Sport. Smith dribbles it quickly into the front court, now stops. And needs help. Here's a steal by Munoz, he dies for a loose ball. Gamble tries to reach up for it, Munoz comes up with it again, no foul called. And finally a timeout call by head coach Scott Bunnell, but it looked like Cesar Munoz was fouled there on that play, there was not a call. But fortunately, a timeout called by Caesar or the coaching staff for Jeff. I'm not sure who. They get a 30-second timeout. And Coach Al Rose beside him sixth here in the third quarter. Let's see if the Broncos can get it down closer here to start the fourth quarter. Richardson with a drive in the lane. Gets the bucket and missed the shot. Short again. A lot of these drives down the lane guys have been short. And the Berries get the rebound. Trivet with it. Front court just across the half court line guarded by Munoz. And he's at the half court line. 14 seconds to go. Berries looks like the hold for one. Trivet picked up his dribble. Now gets it to Victor, top of the key. Victor on the dribble, pulls up just past the foul line. No good, a wild shot. Rebound to Gamble. Four seconds to go. He races into the front court with the baseline. Oh. He lost it. Out of bounds. Dribbled it out of bounds. A turnover. And looks like he had the lane to the bucket. Perhaps the score with about a half second to go, then turned it over. Yeah, that, I mean, uh, Joe Gamble just got a little too anxious on that one. He uh, really didn't have control of that ball. There he's inbound. They won't shoot. Third quarter. Score, 44 to 40. Logan Sport leads the Lafayette Jeff. I think uh, Coach Bonnell just got to really reiterate that this game is it's far from being over. It's still got another eight minutes to play. Berries will have the basketball here to start the fourth quarter, moving right to left. Wildermuth with it. Gets it to Victor on the left wing. Man-to-man -man pressure by the Broncos. Cobra, the defensive assignment. And they reverse the ball right wing now. Wildermuth with the ball for the Berries. Guarded by Richardson. Top the key to Trivet. Trivet puts it on the floor, dribbles to his left. Now picks up his dribble, needs help. Smothering defense by Munoz. Gets it in the corner to Dietrich. Back to Trivet. Trivet backs it out to the half court line. Trivet on the dribble. Now sends it far sideline to Rombold. Inside to Dietrich. Good catch by Dietrich. He shoots. Shot blocked by Gamble. Rebound tipped around. Grabbed by Victor and he's fouled. Casey Victor will shoot two. Free throws, a good block by Joe Gamble, but the Broncos couldn't grab the rebound. And Cesar Munoz picked up his first foul, team foul number three and a half. Victor leads all Logan Sport scores with 15. He goes to the foul line, couple free throws, his free throw good. He's five for five from the foul line. 
45-40 Logan Sport. 7.15 to go in the ball game. If Casey Victor makes this, Logan Sport will match its largest lead. Free throw, good. And then the Berries looks like uh, that looks like man-to-man -man defense right now. Front court with it, Munoz. Guarded very closely by Trivet. Clark sideline to Koga. Ball kicked out of bounds by Logan Sport. 46-40. Jeff trails in this one in the fourth quarter. And Joe Gamble inbounding far sideline for the Broncos into Richardson. And Dallas has double teamed, lost the ball, and it's tipped back out to Dallas. He even puts the double team, comes down the lane, near corner, Cobra, three try, no. Rebound to Dietrich. The Broncos three-point shooting has really struggled in the second half. Well, Koger, he, uh, he's usually a guy that shoots fairly well from behind the arc, but it just he's had a lot of open looks. He just hasn't hit any of them. Logan Sport ball, front court. Trivet with the ball. And he gets it out to Wilderness. Coach Bunnell's going to make a substitution to the next dead ball. He's going to bring Darren Hinkle to into the lineup. Hoping perhaps Darren can spark the, the outside shooting for the Broncos. Wilderness drives the right baseline in trouble. Tough shot rebounded by Joe Gamble. Long pass in the front court to Koger. He drives and scores. And foul. Lane Koger, a chance at a three-point play. He's got seven. And the Broncos pulled it within four, 46-42. That was a clutch. Uh, that was a clutch play by Blaine Coger. Uh, the Broncos were really hurting on the shoot, on the shooting, and uh, he just missed his three. And that was a big confidence boost for him too. He had a chance to make that three up with his uh, with his free throw. Corey Rombo called for his second foul there, and Nick a pretty good pass by Joe Gamble to hit Chuck over there as well. That was a, it was a really heads up play by uh, Joe Gamble catching uh, Coger out on the fast break. And it looks like Darren Hinkle is going to, well, we've got a timeout called by Logan. He's a good outside shooter. He's going to check in for the shooter, and he won't do so as the free throw is missed by Cobra. Rebounded out by the Barry. There in the front court, Wildermuth with it. And he's at just across the half-court line on the dribble. Sends it far sideline to Trivet. Trivet looks for help down inside on the baseline to Rombold. Pass tip, retrieved by Dietrich down low, and he scores. The double team came there on Rombold, and he was very fortunate to get that ball to Dietrich, but he scores. 48-42 Logan Sport. Gamble wants the three ball right wing. Good! Oh, you got to be impressed with Joe's performance tonight. 10 points, 48-45 Logan Sport. Well, what I'm impressed about with Joe Gamble is uh, it's really been an all-around game. Yep. That's a very good point. He's played a great basketball game this evening. Front court with it. Casey Victor for the Berries to Trivet. And here's a steal by Joe Gamble. He leaped up and took it away from Dietrich. Here come the Broncos. They could tie it on this trip. Richardson driving the lane, and he's fouled. It wouldn't fall. But Dallas will get two free throws. He darn near got the ball to go through the hoop, but he can pull the Broncos to within one here. That was another question we'll call down in the post. Just as as the uh, as Logan Sport fans and the uh, and the and the bench just uh, protest that call. It looked like he might have had the seat set, but from here it was it was hard to tell. But uh, nonetheless, Joe Gamble actually on that defensive matchup all night has been giving up at least five inches. Yep. With, and a lot of muscle. So, I mean, it's, it's impressive for him to be playing that well in defense. Free throw made by Dallas Richardson. The foul is called on Zach Dietrich. That was his fourth. He's going to check out. Replaced by Kevin Smith. Now Darren Hinkle does check in for the Jeff Broncos, replacing Blaine Cover. 48-46 berries. 5-17 to go fourth quarter. Dallas will try to make it a one-point game. The senior fires the free throw good. He's got 20 now in the game. Little token full court pressure now by Dallas. Wildermuth with the ball. He breaks it into the front court for Logan Sport. To Ron Bold far sideline. Now top of the key to Victor. Victor wanted to drive. Cut off. Wildermuth now with the ball. Top of the key to Trivet. Trivet guarded by Hinkle. Out to the half court line to Victor. Victor to Wildermuth now right in front of us here near sideline. To Ron Bold, top of the key. Corey on the dribble. Far sideline now to Victor. One point, Logan Sport lead. They nurse right now, 48-47. Victor now to Wildermuth. He's between the circle. Top of the key, guarded closely by Richardson. Wildermuth on the dribble. Picks up his dribble. To Ron Bold in the lane. Double team. 
Now to Chibbett, left wing, launches a three. It's off the mark. Rebound grabbed by Munoz to the Bronco. To Dallas Richardson. He crosses the half-court line. Dallas bounced the ball off the foot. Now apparently off of Lovisport players. He went into the backcourt to retrieve. Munoz misses a three near corner. We've got a rebounding foul here. And let's see who picked it up. Hinkle came away with the rebound for the Broncos. And we'll see if he's going to foul. He, he was fouled. It's going to be four against Primo. Now it's going to be, you're right, it's going to go against Jeff. Primo apparently pushed off. It's his fourth. Shane Wyatt going to check back in. Tough call for the Broncos because not only does it change possession, it gives Primo his fourth foul. And actually, Hinkle would have come up with that rebound had the play gone on. Well, good fourth ball. One point lead, 48-47. 4.15 to go in the contest. Wildermuth with the ball front court, far sideline. Down low pass on the baseline to Rumble, knocked out of bounds by Jeff. Coach Bunnell does not like the call, and the official says it hit off the foot of a Bronco defender. If it, I didn't see it hit off, hit off any foot. They must have said it must have glazed uh, Shane Wyatt's foot because I didn't see anybody else that was even that close to the ball. Rombo, well, they gave him the ball. Now Logan Sport makes a sub late substitution. Zach Dietrich checks back in with four personals, replacing Kevin Smith. 48-47, Barry. Dietrich inbounds on the baseline. Or actually, Rombo inbounds to Victor. Baseline left. Victor with the ball to Wildermuth at the half-court line. Guarded by Dallas. Wildermuth sends it far sideline to Trivet, who does direct some traffic. And now on the baseline to Rombo. Backdoor pass and scoring down low as Dietrich. And guys, they've been double-teaming Rombo on the baseline, and that time he found a wide-open Dietrich. That's one thing that they've been able to do. They've definitely been able to penetrate the lane and uh, get easy buckets with their big men. On the other end, a circus shot by Dallas Good, an over-the-head shot. Makes it a one-point game, 50-49. to 49. Tough shot there. Pulls the Broncos to within one. Logan's for ball. Baseline right. Trivet down low. Baseline right to Rombold. He turns on Wyant. Triple team. Out high to Wildermuth. He won't shoot an open three. He'll back it out to the half court line. Now far sideline to Rombold. Far corner it goes to Trivet. Top of the key to Victor. One point Logan Sport lead. 50 to 49. We approach the three minute mark of the ball game. Wildermuth with us at the half court line. The Berries have become a little more patient now here in the waning stages of the game. Well, the Broncos definitely picked up their uh, defensive pressure, so they want to make sure that they, uh, they can maybe hold the ball for the win. Trivet with it, far side, and they double team into the Broncos. Sends it to Victor right in front of us here. Victor guarded by Munoz. Left wing to Rombold. He's double team. Now triple team. Baseline left, Victor. He pulls it out. 2.39 to go. Trivet with it, and he's fouled by Munoz. That's a situation where Trivet stepped around Munoz there, and Munoz fouled him from behind. Caesar's second foul, team foul number five. Lane Koger checks back in for Jeff, replacing senior Darren Hinkle. Still one point lead for Logan Sport, 50 to 49. Rombold will inbound, gets it into Wildermuth. Wildermuth bounces far sideline to Trivet. Now at the half-court line to Rombold. Far sideline to Wildermuth. Back to Rombold. And right back to Wildermuth again. 2.24 to go, and the, the Berries have gone into a delay game here with a one-point lead, 50-49. to 49. So that kind of surprises me, considering they're only up at one, and any turnover can, uh, can result in a fast break and uh, end in, in a leap for the Broncos. 2.10 to go in the contest. Wildermuth, far sideline on the dribble. Now far corner to Trivet. Trivet double team. The Dietrich turns and passes back to the half-court line to Rombold. Two minutes to go in the game. Still 50-49 to 49 Logan Sport. Rombold in trouble. He's picked up his dribble. The Dietrich at the high post. Now right wing to Trivet. Trivet on the dribble. Drives to the baseline. Cut off by Munoz. Back to the half-court line again to Rombold. Rombold on the dribble. Near sideline to Victor. He's double teamed. In trouble. He steps through it and finds Dietrich. Now far sideline it goes to Trivet. Back to Wildermuth. Wildermuth to Dietrich. The Victor top of the key, 1.30 to go. And another foul committed here by the Jeff Broncos. They commit their sixth team foul. And I think, guys, the strategy by Al Rose right now is just to get the Broncos to use those last two fouls, meaning the next one will put the Berries at the foul line. Yeah, that's what you need to do right now, though, for the Broncos, because right now they're not getting sealed. They're passing out of those double teams. They, just, they really need to get someone shooting free throws. And now they pick up a quick foul. That's their seventh. 
And Nambo just picked up his fourth. Dallas will be called for this foul. And Logan Ford will shoot a one and one, leading 50 to 49. Well, when you got a lead in the fourth quarter and there's no shot clock, the clock really becomes your friend. You can use it as a, you know, when you know that Jeff's not shooting well from three point range, if you make two shots, then it's definitely going to be hard for the Broncos to come back and hit a three. Well, I agree with Dan, though. I mean, with about two and a half minutes to go in the game is when they moved into that delay situation with a one point lead. It seems like a lot of time, but it worked because they picked up three quick fouls in the Broncos to put them at the line. Free throw by Wildermuth made. Yeah, you can definitely argue with the strategy, but the results, the result you can't, you have no arguments with because they wasted over a minute of time just by, just by that delay. And they're going to get two points as well as Wildermuth makes two free throws. 52-49, Logan Sport. Here come the Broncos, 128 to go. Richardson drives the right baseline. His shot good. Dallas pulls him back to within one, 52-51 with 124 to go. He took it coast to coast. Timeout called by the Jeff Broncos. Yeah, because Miles is a, is, a, is a good rebounder when he's seen action. He hasn't seen much, like you said, but when he's played, he's usually been great at rebounding the ball. Wildermuth with the ball, crosses the half-court line, lost the ball, but caught back up to it, and then he's uh, slipped, but we got a Bronco foul before the slip. I Come think on. that's going to be the call. Gonna be on Gamble. Gamble's out. Yeah, he just fouled out with his fifth foul, and that was a tough call because he, the the uh, ball handler there for Logan for Eric Wilden, who did flip down with the ball, but apparently that foul uh, by Joe Gamble, perhaps the official saying, is what caused that slip. Yeah, I couldn't. From our, our angle, it was kind of blocked by the by the players coming down down for it. But from our angle, it, I don't think it looked like a foul. It looked like a slip, and I, I wasn't sure if he kept his dribble or not. So it may not have even been a travel call, but. I don't know if, it, if a call was in order there. It's a tough call, especially when a guy's pushing the... Shoots one and one here. His club leading 52-51, 1.16 to go. 84% free throw shooter on the year. He makes the first. 53-51, 1.16 to go. I think the key here, guys, is even if he makes his free, th free throw here, the Broncos do not need to come down and settle for a quick three. That's no. right. There's still a minute. There's just over a minute left. And uh, the clock will stop if he makes the free throw. And he does make the free throw. Three-point lead for the Berries. I think another thing that's important is uh, when we're coming back down here on defense, you want to make sure you foul the right guy. You don't want to put, uh, you don't want to put the same guy out there yeah. that's going to make free throws. Very good point there. And with a minute, you know, probably about a minute or so to go in the game, you can choose a little bit who you want to put at the line. Bronco ball, Richardson takes the tough three, off the mark, rebound to the Berries. Rombo got it, now he's got a loose ball retrieved by the Berries. Rombo got it passed off the pass from Peter. They got a player wide open in Dietrich, and he lays it in. They break the pressure, and Zach Dietrich scores. 56-51, Logan scores. 55 seconds to go. Dallas pulls up for three, right wing. It is, it hits the top of the backboard, and it's out of bounds. The Berries will get it back here with 50 seconds to go, and so Broncos have missed two straight threes by Richardson, and the Berries now uh, looking to be in good shape, guys, with a five-point lead, 50 seconds to go. Well, we've seen uh, Dallas Richardson make a uh, in the game, but that went into, I believe, was double overtime, and it was, it was just a wild game overall. Marion overmatched in the end, but I mean, nonetheless, it was a great, it was a great effort by the Broncos. Now we're going to get another timeout. Logan Schwartz going to call another timeout. Then to go the length of the floor here with Corey Rombold. Rombold gets it into Wildermuth. He's double teamed and quickly fouled, and then we'll see if it's Miles Robinson or Richardson who picked up the foul. And Willerme is one of their, perhaps their best free throws here, 84%. He's 4-4 in the game. Going to go against Dallas Richardson, his third. Now, if Wildermuth makes both of these free throws, it's going to be a three-possession lead for the Berry. And again, the winner of this game gets, Har gets the winner of Harrison Kokomo on Friday. Wildermuth makes the first, gets the bonus. 57, 51, Logan, 49 seconds to go. Shane Wyatt's going to check back in for the Broncos as Wildermuth makes the pair. He's made six straight free throws. Wyatt checks in for Miles Robinson. And Jacob Peedy in for the Berries. Now the Broncos are going to have to get a... A miracle, I think, here. Down by three possessions with 45 seconds to go. Richardson misses another three. Rebounded by the Berries. And a quick foul committed by Jeff. 
as Casey Victor is going to go to the line. Well, guys, Dallas Richardson's had a very, out, he's got an outstanding career here with Jeff, and he's had an outstanding finish to his season here. Uh, but tonight, he's just, he just has not had it tonight with his shot. Yeah, he even had it the first half, and it uh, just seems like he's been forcing shots the end of the second quarter and all of the second half. It just seems like he's been forcing shots, and part of that's probably because of the, of the weight probably placed on him, at least on his own mind. Free throw by Victor rims out. He'll get a second, though, because the Broncos have, ten, have committed 10 fouls. Well, yeah. they just force shots, but a lot of times hurried shots. Yeah. I mean, it's, a lot of it might be just the pressure he's placed on himself yeah. based on the uh, suspensions and uh, even Cedar not being 100%. Free throw made by Victor. 59-51, 40 seconds to go in favor of the Berries. Dallas with the ball front court. Hinkle with it now, right wing. He shoots a three. A rainbow shot. No good. Rebound to Logan Sport. Trivet with it, and he's quickly fouled by Hinkle. Hinkle picks up his first, and Trivet will go to the line for two free throws. He's got 10 points, 59-51, and 30 seconds to go. It looks like now that Logan Sport's going to move on to the uh, second round of the section on Friday, and the Broncos' season is going to end at uh, 12 and 10. Yeah, they, they really, they had, it was a valiant effort. They just didn't have it. The, the second half, they just got into a deficit, and it just seems like they didn't play well enough to catch Logan Sport. Free throw missed by Trivet, and it's unfortunate that Broncos had a couple seniors make a you know a bad, unfortunate decision last weekend, and you know it, you, you gotta move on. You gotta pay the price on, on when you commit mistakes, and they serve some, a penalty. And uh, whether or not it made any difference in the ball game, who knows? We'll never know. But the Broncos are gonna fall tonight to the Berries as Richardson scores on the other end. 60-53. In favor of Logan Sport with 20. And, uh, but I think he has his team going in the right direction. I think they've been playing more fundamental basketball than they played under Coach Miller. Coach Miller did a great job with them. But I think Coach Miller just really has them playing uh, more inspired ball than they've been looking, than they look like in the past few years. And I think they're they're going to go up with some great underclassmen like Caesar and uh, and uh, we saw some uh, some of Shane Wyant who looks like he could be a great talent in the future. Here, foul on Miles Robinson, his first, and we're going to have two free throws here coming from uh, David Trivet for the Berries with 11 points. And Nick, the Broncos are going to have to replace seven seniors, though. Oh yeah, but it really seems like uh, they've got a lot of talent, uh, underclassmen-wise. Uh, a lot of guys, you know, you didn't see them playing here, but they they played varsity off and on. A lot of them sat on the bench. These uh, are next year. He's going to be a senior. Uh, We'll just, uh, they just have to see how it goes and who's coming in next year. 61-53, first free throw made by Trivet. The second one is made as well. 62-53, Logan Sport, 22 seconds to go in the game. Jacob Feedy checks in, replacing Will and his. Munoz inbounds in backcourt, gets it into Richardson. Dallas crosses half the court line. This is left wing. Coger tries a three. Good. Lane Coger with a three. 62-56. Very basketball. And Broncos commit a foul with nine seconds, 9.8 to go in the game. And Barry's a march back to the free throw line for two more opportunities, leading 62-56. It just looks like a case of two little two late. Yeah. Coger with eight points. So actually, ten points in the ball game. He's moved into double figures. Well, he, he's another guy that's been very impressive this year that uh, Scott Funnel will have next yeah. year. The question just is going to be who's going to step up. Another free, free throw made by David Trivet. That was on Munoz, his third, as Trivet makes a pair. Nine seconds to go, 8.8 for the Berries. Richardson front court, three-pointer block. Barry's grabbed the rebound, and they'll hold the ball, and they'll run out the clock. And they're going to win their sectional opener here tonight, 64 to 56, here at the Crowley Center over the whole clock yet, Jeff Broncos. The season has come.